Hey there, my name's Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. Now hopefully you've had a chance to look at my video about Android 12 and HD haptics. Now one of the areas of course where HD haptics will be used a lot is in gaming. So today we're going to look at how it gets used in gaming, what it brings to the gaming experience. So if you want to find out more, please let me explain. I'd like to thank Cirrus Logic for sponsoring this video. Now, HD Haptics is a way of adding a non-verbal form of communication to the smartphone experience. So, of course, we're used to graphics that you see on the screen. We're used to audio and now motion through these advanced high-definition vibrations, haptics, as that third layer of communication, and it's non-verbal. Now, Cirrus Logic, of course, is a leader in developing HD haptics technology, and they provide the chips that smartphone manufacturers need to add this technology to their smartphones. Now, one of the biggest problems with Android, and I'm the first to admit this, is fragmentation. Because you've got low-end, mainstream, premium, flagship, so many different types of devices. They have different CPUs, different GPUs, different amounts of memory, different amounts of storage, uh, different amounts of, you know, what uh, cellular they support, 4G, 5G. And so a lot of the time, if you write a game particularly, it can be a challenge to make sure that it works on all the different devices that are out there from the lowest end right through to the top. And that can be a challenge. Now, the great thing about adding HD haptics to a game is that fragmentation is not an issue. Because this works by taking an audio source and then turning it into a vibration pattern, a haptic pattern, and it does it on the fly, then there is no worry about whether it's going to be feel the same on one device or another because you're taking the audio and doing that conversion. So whatever the audio is going to be, that is what the HD haptic is going to be. And because it's now supported in Android 12 and it provides a uniform interface, then in fact there is no like, oh, I'm going to have to do this specially for Sony or specially for Samsung. Now, it was interesting in my last video, lots of people were pointing out that these kind of features have been available in other phones in the past, but of course they were just for that phone. So they might have been great for just that phone, but of course game developers aren't going to invest too much time in writing something for just a Sony device, or even one model of a Sony device, when now of course this is something that could be available to all Android 12 or greater devices. And the only thing you need to check as a game developer is, is it supported or not? And there's an API that you call that just basically tells you if it's there or not. So fragmentation when it comes to HD haptics is not an issue. And that's something I like. Now, because there is no fragmentation, this also means you get consistency over the long term. The HD haptics you're going to get today, if you buy a smartphone that supports it, is going to be the same in three years' time. The motor doesn't wear out. There's not going to be, you know, some kind of new way that the motor... Because it's taking the audio and converting that into the haptic movement. So basically, whatever the audio can do, that's what the HD haptics can do. And that truly means it is a right once experience for game developers. They just need to implement this once, and then it's going to be available in all smartphones in the Android ecosystem that have Android 12 or above and have HD haptics. So really, it's a cheap way I don't mean cheap as in like rubbish, I mean cheap as in like little effort for game developers to increase and add an extra dimension uh, onto their games. Now, as I mentioned in my previous video, this is all done using an audio stream. It's called Audio Coupled Haptic Playback. And so what that basically means is now when you would have had an audio, just audio for a gunshot, for a bomb exploding, for a boulder crashing down on W, whatever it is that the game is doing, that very same sound effect can now be turned into haptic feedback using the haptic playback, audio coupled haptic playback. And now not only do you get the audio experience, not only do you get the graphic experience, but you also get the haptic experience just because you've taken the existing audio files and now supplemented and augmented the game using audio coupled haptic playback. Now, Cirrus Logic provide all the tech that smartphone manufacturers need to add audio coupled haptic playback to Android 12 devices, and they have enough power in them that you're guaranteed to get strong and crisp vibrations and really increase the level of experience for the gamer. And what this means for the consumer, particularly people who play a lot of games on their smartphones, is that the next time you change your smartphone, you buy another one, make sure you look to see that it has audio coupled haptic feedback because that will enhance your gaming experience. 
Okay, that's it. My name's Gary Sims, and this is Gary Explains. I really hope you enjoyed this look at HD haptics for gaming. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If you like these kind of videos, stick around, subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget you can follow me on Twitter at Gary Explains, and I also have a monthly newsletter. Go to GaryExplains.com, type in your email address, no spam, just a newsletter. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.